How's it going everyone? My name is Massey and welcome to the 16th episode of our Bloodborne walkthrough. In the previous episode we cleared the first part of Nightmare of Mensis, we killed Mikolash, and now we're ready to uh, proceed to the next area. As quickly as possible, hopefully. The thing is, uh, we, we the only part that is remaining in Nightmare of Mensis at the moment, it's just a, uh, just a very small part until we, it leads to the last boss in this zone, which is Mergo's Wet Nurse. And then we're done, we're gonna get to the end game and finish the game if we want to. But the thing is, if you remember, we have a DLC and Upper Cathedral Ward left remaining. So we're gonna have to do those first. I'm gonna leave uh, Upper Cathedral Ward probably for the very end of my playthrough, right after I kill the, uh, you know, kill the Orphan of Cost in uh, the DLC. But for now, the only reason I'm doing this at the, in the first place anyway is because there is a Blood Rock that I need. Uh, and it's very important that I get this. So the thing is, this roll has gotten me killed more than any enemy in the game, I would say, arguably. But the thing is, we managed to make it, thankfully. While you're at it, we're going to be seeing a lot of these Winter Lanterns that are going to make you go frenzy. So just be sure to equip your strongest anti-frenzy gear, which for me is the Graveguard Mask along with the rest of the Ashen Hunter set. Which gives you a lot of frenzy resistance. It's not really useful, but it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? Be sure to have yourself healed all the way to full, and then you want to rush over here and... Clear everything. So just rush at this point. You want to come over here and pick up this. Turn around and go over here. So there's gonna be. Uh, it's okay if you take damage here. Oh, we're not even gonna take damage. It's okay. We're gonna use a sedative anyway. So uh, once you're here, though, there's one piece of loot that you have to get. It's very important uh, over here. Once you pick this up, though, you're good to go. Just go past these guys. No problem. Use a sedative. Doesn't matter. We're gonna get to these spider boys. The good thing is the Winter Lanterns do not follow you, which is great, but we still have uh, spiders to kill. I've never seen the spiders actually back up, that's fun. I've never- that's actually funny. Okay, you're being very annoying, sir. There we go. They kind of- I, I, at first when I came here, like, I thought these guys were patches. They looked like patches, but they have hair. Patches doesn't have hair. There we go. Pick up the Quicksilver bullets, and... You want to go down. Operate device, and you want to fall down into this hole in the wall, ground, whatever. You want to go behind here because there is a winter lantern going around here. I'm hoping that I might be able to avoid it, avoid contact with it. Okay, good, 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 good. Not going too bad. Sedative? Nope. It's fine. We still survived that, which is okay. Come over here and pick up the final hunter's tool in the base game for now. There we go. Choir bell, and we should be getting out of here now in a second. Just uh, give me a moment. So. I don't think those guys are guarding anything in particular, but I'm going to kill them anyway because we have a lot of time left in this video and we're gonna have to, uh, we have to fill that up with something because this video is kind of awkward since accessing the DLC is not even close to being as difficult as Dark Souls 1. And we've practically made it here. So, made it to the items that we need. So you're gonna pick up a couple of really good gemstones here, which is nice. On your right is the Blood Rock, don't go pick it up yet. pick up the, uh, the stuff for now. Don't think there's anything in the back here. Not sure. Yeah. We're gonna go over here. Should be something in the back. There we go. Don't think there's anything here though. Just looks to me that it, there might be something there. And you can go over here. Access this door, which is going to lead you to the uh, to the Mikolash boss fight. The thing is, if you remember, I just wanted to open this door for later. Uh, there is a blood rock uh, down there, which is the only blood rock that you can pick up in the base game, which is a bit weird how hardcore they went with it. But it is what it is, you know? So just uh, jump down over here, and there it is in all its beauty. The blood rock. Nice. Go through this hole in the wall, and this was going to take you back all the way to where we fought the the church hunter guy. 
So yeah, we're, we're here. So we're gonna go very quickly and use the elevator to go back down to the uh, to the lantern and get ourselves out of here as quickly as possible. I'm just going to look back. <laughs> this, this, the, by the way, this the helmet looks like ice cream. You know those ice cream that come from the machine. Obviously, <laughs> it's just funny. But yeah, we're gonna go down, get some levels, upgrade our weapon to max, and go for the uh, go for the DLC. Might be able to actually cover a good amount of the DLC, the first part of the DLC. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to the DLC. Whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anyway. So, kin cold blood. Just use all the souls that we can for now, just to upgrade ourselves to the max. Oh no! God damn it! Why did I use a shaman bone blade? That's so stupid. It's fine. Let's go upgrade our weapon first. Fortify weapon. There we go. Plus ten. Blood gem fortification. We should have a couple of good gems to use here. Let me see. And finally, we have the Tempering Damp Blood Gemstone, which is an 18% damage increase, which is huge for us at the moment. So now that we've gotten that, do I have any good blood tint, blood tint stuff for this? 21%. Yeah, 21% is really good, so just use the Damp Blood Tint gem on it. Repair, nothing. We don't really have to repair. Just going to equip the, the Big Boy Moon Rune now. There is another big boy rune compared to this one. You know, while we're at it, we have a couple of things that we can do in the meantime. Like, we can go and finish uh, the uh, Eileen's quest line in the meantime. Or we can just go access the Cathedral Ward, you know? Might as well cover everything in the base game, you know? Yeah, why not? Let's go to the Cathedral Ward. Why not? Since the Cathedral Ward is definitely longer than normal, it might. T it's not gonna take as long as I think it's gonna take because my brain always. Just automatically tells you that it's gonna take a long time, but even if this video goes all the way to 30 minutes I don't mind doing it as long as we properly. Oh, there we go So once you see this once uh, Ariana is not here anymore You want to go back and to where we killed father Gascoigne. So we're cup. Yeah, this is good We're completing a couple of a uh, couple of quest lines now that we're at it. We're kind of, we're kind of doing this as a uh, Cleaning everything up run There she is so the thing is, she's given birth to a uh, Great One's child, of course, but just kill it, doesn't matter. You do kill her in the meantime, but it's honestly better if you put it out of her misery. And that's that for now. Now we're gonna go back up and go to Eileen. Uh, if you, yeah, so this is, the, this is going to be the end part of Eileen's questline uh, once we're here. Um, Eileen is gonna be in the... Uh, the where we killed Amelia, and she's going to be very hurt, and we, she she's going to need us to kill a certain person for her, the Bloody Crow of Canehurst, which is arguably the hardest uh, hunter interaction or hunter fight in the entire game because of how obnoxious his gun damage is. So we'll see how it goes. It might go wrong very bad, very very quickly, but we'll see how it is. The thing is, it depends on what he does, really. Like, if he just acts normal and fights you like a hunter, you're good to go. But if he fights you like a little bitch and spams gun like any other player that plays this game, uh, it's going to be very annoying. Just talk to her. i uh, just going to say, it's my score to settle. Sure, buddy. It's your score to settle. Whatever. I'm just going to very quickly go and fight this guy. So he's super dangerous, in my opinion. I never have a good time fighting him. So, yeah. You can see that he's already firing his stupid gun. His best, your best time to attack him, in my opinion, is when he's two-handing. The thing is, I'm doing a good amount of damage to him. I'm trying to get him to shoot first. Oh, I thought that was going to be a parry. Oh, you can, okay. The gun is doing a lot of damage to me, you can see. Oh, there. You can see how bad it is when he sp spams his gun. But the good thing is, if he busts out his two-handed version, we, we are kind of uh, good to go in terms of trying our best to kill him. He will heal at this point. Ah, I was trying to block his healing by parrying him, but... 
Didn't work, unfortunately. Okay, he's swapping to two-hand, which means it's my cue to go. He's being such a bitch. You can see how bitchy he plays. And trading with him is not worth it because he just does so much damage. Nice. There we go. That's what I like to see. It's going to take a lot of damage from this. Oh, I thought that was going to be a parry. Ah, uh, no. Should not have missed that chance for parrying. The thing is, if he parries me, I'm pretty much a one-shot. Yeah, I'm dead. I got greedy. I got greedy. And he spammed his gun. You can see how obnoxious this guy is with the amount of times he can spam his gun. He's just a very dog shit enemy. He is, like, he's, like, the probably the most poorly designed enemy outside of every hunter that we've had. At least Jura doesn't parry you as much. Like, this guy, this guy's gun is just... If he, if his AI decides to spam it, we're pretty much dead. Like, there's nothing you can do. I mean, to be fair, I did get greedy, but that shouldn't be, like... They should have given the 20, 20 bullet limitation to any NPC, but I don't know why they didn't do it. Because each of his shots take two bullets, and he shot, definitely shot me more than 10 times. And he should not be able to use bullets that many times. The, the same limitations that we have, they should have, but the, they decided to go against that, so. Kind of a dumb thing. It does trigger me a little bit. We were killing him, we did parry him, and we did everything good there, it's just... It wasn't even me getting greedy, it was just him being a goddamn shitty spammer. And it is what it is, I guess. Be careful, be sure to pick up my souls though, because I have 112k in here. Come here, bitch. Let me show you how to let me show you how to fight properly. So he's two-handing now. You can see that he's a little bitch. Look at how much he just rolls away like an absolute an absolute bitch. Okay, he's two-handing again. My cue to go. So when he's two-handing, you can literally spam him to death. Okay. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I knew he was gonna go for that heal, you dumb bitch. That's what I thought. Get the- get the- I, I'm, I'm swearing, get the fuck off my game, you piece of trash. There we go. That's what I like to see. I predicted his goddamn shitty heal and... Ah, oh, that was clean. That makes me happy. That that completely uh, allows me to be fine with the death that I had against him. <laughs> okay, with that, unfortunately, Eileen is going to die. And it's a bit sad. But it is what it is. So he's going to give us the best rune, the best, uh, the best special rune. And it's gonna, she's going to give us the Crow Hunter badge, which is going to get, allow us to buy her weapon and her set from the... Uh, from the... Uh, the bath vendors, the bath messengers, messengers, whatever you want to call them. Unfortunately, she does die. So, I need to pause the video after this just to go do a rundown of what I've done so far and what I haven't. If I haven't done anything, I'll just access the Upper Cathedral Ward and just put the entirety of Upper Cathedral Ward in another video. So it just kind of has a decent flow to it. So I'll be, I'll be back in a second. Give me a moment. Okay, so after checking everything, I am fairly certain that I am, uh, well done with everything for the most part so I'm just going to uh, change my looks a little bit and uh, go to Upper Cathedral Ward unfortunately that's the only place that we have to do at the moment I'm kind of feeling very knighty so I'm gonna wear my knight set I really like this set actually it looks pretty dope in my opinion but I feel like it lacks a helmet it's just my opinion though huh I guess we don't really have any good decent sets like that uh, well it is what it is, I'm just going to equip any anything. Actually, I'm not going to equip it, I'm just going to go like this. Why not? So, I'm going to come over here and sell the doll set for some big bucks. Let me just show you for a second. Look at how much this thing sells for. 37,000, man. It's, ma it's absolutely massive. There we go. Sell that. This student set is also very expensive. You can clearly see, which I'm going to do. Give me a second, actually. I'm not going to use this set ever, so... Who cares? 
But if you're a collector, don't sell them. Yeah, come over here and talk to her. I uh, should be able to put one more point here. And the rest I'm going to put in strength because strength is cool. Okay, we, now we're pretty strong. So I'm going to be sure to buy more bolt paper. Uh, give me a second. Be, just be sure to buy more bolt paper. Bolt paper is going to be ex uh, extremely important in the next zone. Okay, and with that, let's go access the upper cathedral ward area. Very interesting area, very cool looking, very menacing, and very spooky. Like, that place is goddamn spooky. It's gonna be fun accessing that area. I should be able to do a little bit of part of it until we make it I, at least to pick up the emote. The thing is, we only, I only have about... I want to I say I have about 7 minutes. Like, a 22 minute video will be good for this place, but... Uh, it is what it is. Come over here and talk to her. Uh, I think if you get three sedatives from her, she'll go insane and die or something, but I'm just gonna, I, this is the second time I've taken sedatives from her, so it's okay. Activate this lever. And we're going to go to one of the most uh, scary places of this game. The last time we came over here, remember, we went for the sword, the Radiant Sword Hunter badge that allowed us to buy the Ludwig's Holy Blade. Not this time. We're going in for some big boy stuff this time around. Let's go upstairs. Turn right, because if you take the long way around, the enemies will not follow you. I mean, they will follow you, they, won't, they just won't catch up to you. Which is pretty convenient for me. As you can see, they are, they're trying to get to me, but it's just not happening. There we go. Turn left, and go over here. Deal with this guy as fast as possible. Sorry about the noise in my background. And open up the store from the key that we got in Yargul. Yargul. <clears throat> and now we are here. So this place is going to be very creepy. We're going to be seeing a lot of these fetus, newborn baby thingies that are clearly children of great ones. It's just, it's, uh, this place is just cool and creepy at the same time. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I like how they when they see you, they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy you, bro." Oh yeah, since we have more insight now, they have these guys have some new. Okay, I got hit by all three of them since they're slow, since they're so slow moving. I got hit by all of them. It's fine. Should be okay. Look at him just spamming that garbage. Can you stop? Thank you. Okay, since we have a lot of insight now, these guys have extra attacks. You can see the eyes on their lanterns. They're clearly, they're clearly all looking at the same thing, but we don't really know what. I feel like they're looking at the pale moon, maybe. Is the moon over there? They look at the sky, at least. Okay, turn right. Yeah, you can see that they're all looking at the same thing. Pick up the great lake. And one of the cool things about this zone is that it has music in the background. And that's what makes it so even scarier. Like, very rarely music plays in Souls games. And the fact that this place has music tied to it, that means it's special. And you'll see how special this place is once we actually get to uh, the main dish of this place. Look at this thing, man. I can't believe they actually went to and got away with putting this kind of stuff in a game. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, like, the thing is, I, I'm not, I don't mind it. It's just a... Uh, their rating systems are so pathetic these days. Like, yo, everything is so sensitive, everything's so bad. Anyway, there's gonna be, we're gonna be seeing a lot of these dudes. Uh, don't worry about them. For now, just activate your bonfire to be able to see a little bit more. Although this place is meant to be dark, so don't mind it. Let me see how the choir set actually looks on me. I'm interested in that. Eh, nah, it's not good, no good. Go over here, and we're going to be seeing a rather spoopy ambush. So once you pick this up, a big boy, a furry boy is going to jump down in a second. Can you do it, please? There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm so scared. Oh, no. Oh, uh, excuse me? How did he attack me with hyper armor? Wolves don't have hyper armor. Like, oh, okay, I pressed circle. I guess it didn't go off. But yeah, wolves don't have hyper armor, which is weird. So this door is going to be locked for now. I'm going to make it to the... You know what? This video is going to be a little bit longer, but it's okay. I'm going to make it all the way to where we find the uh, the emote, which is going to be important. 
Open this door, and the thing is, you, th you think, oh, there's light here. Well, no, it's gonna go away in a second. If you go over here, the some a lot of werewolves are gonna ambush you, and they're gonna turn off the lights. Which is a bit of a pain. And they're coming for me already. Nice. What I like to do is just to go over here, and do R2s on these kids. Okay. So that's good. I would fight them fairly, it's just there's a, there's too many of them. There we go. Much easier like this, just... Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, close the door after you killed them. Uh, okay, there we go. Come over here and pick these up, and bust out the torch again. Because we're gonna be needing it in a second. Uh, there is another door over there, so keep this in mind. For now, let's go over here, and there will be another one of these guys on your left. There we go. Kill this guy, and there should be another one rushing me down in a second. Where are you at? I know you're hiding! Okay, seriously, I know where you- I know you're around here. Stop hiding like a little bitch. This is the creepy part of this place, because I know for a fact that there should be another one of these around here. I just don't know where. Let's come over here and pick the ritual blood up. Come on. I can even hear you. Doesn't matter, whatever. You want to go to this corner first, and there's going to be a hallway with these guys throwing stuff at you. Hopefully, he won't be able to spot me until I get to him. So I can actually kind of demolish him. Yeah, that's good. He didn't spot me until I got to him, which is perfect. Quick silver bullets. And you want to go into this corner now, because there's another path over here. And this is going. This is kind of a bait, by the way. But the good thing is, I like my damage is so high. I don't even care about the bait. These, these guys are going to constantly try to hit you with the white stuff, uh, no pun intended, no, not pun, no sexual innuendo uh, intended, but uh, they're going to try to hit, try their best to hit you, breast? Try their best to hit you with that and be careful, that's all I'm saying, okay? So we're going to go up here first, trust me, there's a reason why, for why I'm going up here. Let's kill this guy as fast as possible because there's going to be another guy rushing us down in a second, as you can see. The good thing is our weapon is at a, at a plus 10 at the moment, so it's been doing a lot of damage. We got the orphanage key from this guy. I'm going to end the video in a second. And I'm going to upload... The, the, these two videos have to be uploaded together, so I... So you guys don't miss out on where we are, you know? So, talk to this thing, and you get the make contact emote. And I'm going to end the video here, and I'm going to immediately start this video, so don't worry. I'll be back very soon. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video so far, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, don't you dare go hollow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!